morning, it's Sunday, it's day 11 of Vlogmas. Thank you very much for joining me for another day. So it's another very frosty cold morning here in the south of England. It's just coming up to nine o'clock and I think the temperature is still below zero right now. So very chilly outside. And this morning, my son and I are going to go to church. So we're gonna head off there in a moment. Um, we haven't been for a couple of weeks, so it'll be nice to go today. It's gonna to be quite chilly out there. We usually scoot there. So we'll be wrapping ourselves up in lots of layers and hats and scarves and everything. Um, and I'm gonna try and get some footage of us on the way up to church and of the church too. So my plan is to go and get me and my son ready now, and then I'm gonna pop back on once they're back from church and share what I'm wearing and what else is up to and all that sort of thing. So. A short introduction today, so I'll put some footage in next of our trip up to church and I'll see you again a little bit later. So see you in a bit. Bye! Hello, we're back from church now. We had a nice morning there. It is very cold out today though. It was a very chilly scoot up there this morning. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our scoot. You could probably see from the video that it was very frosty out. Very beautiful though. There were lots of frosted spiderwebs and all sorts of things to see on our way. So we did enjoy admiring the frost and the cold weather, um, even if it was quite chilly. And it didn't actually warm up much whilst we were there actually. Even on the way home, it was very cold. So I was glad to get home and make a nice warming cup of tea. But yeah, I had a nice morning just me and my son. My husband and my daughter didn't make it to church this morning because my daughter had a party, a birthday party for one of her friends. So my husband and I sort of divided up parenting duties and he took her to that and they're still not back actually. So my son and I, we've been back a while. We got back, finished off his maths homework. We played a video game together, had some lunch and he's now having a bit of a relax in the other room. So I said to him, do you mind if I pop in here? and do a bit of my filming while you're having a relax. And he was fine with that, so here I am. So I thought I'd finally share um, what Elf is up to and what I'm wearing and all that sort of thing now. So I'll start off with what Elf was up to in the night. So Elf decided to get out our junior Scrabble board and have a bit of fun with that. And um, yes, yeah, so we found him with the Scrabble board and lots of letters. And when we looked at the Scrabble board, we can see that either he only knows how to spell one word or whether he only wants to spell one word. But that word obviously was elf. So he drew it in elf quite a few times on the Scrabble board. He'd even found some different letters that weren't Scrabble letters from various other places in the house. So he was obviously very keen to write elf as many ways as he could. Um, so that was quite cute. My children thought that was quite funny. They had a play with the Scrabble afterwards. That was nice. So that is what he was up to. And actually it was very busy in our house last night because as well as Elf's antics, we also had a visit from the Tooth Fairy. So last night, just after bath, one of my daughter's teeth, which had been quite wobbly for a while, fell out. Um, so she was a bit upset about it. She's not very keen on the whole losing teeth process. She finds it all a bit upsetting, but she did cheer up a bit once she realized the Tooth Fairy might be visiting. So we put out her tooth pillow last, pillow last night and luckily the tooth fairy did seem to arrive and left her some money in exchange for the tooth and so yeah it didn't seem to bother that there were two magics in the house in one night the tooth fairy and elf it all went to plan thankfully so yeah my daughter's very excited this morning to find that money and i thought i'd share with you her tooth cushion because i made it a few years ago i might have shared it on here a long time ago but i can't remember whether i have or not i made one for my son and daughter both at the same time when my son um, looked like he was going to start losing his first couple of teeth I just drafted a little pattern and had a bit of fun with it. So this is my daughter's one here. I made it in a tooth shape just for fun. For my daughter's, I then backed it with this pretty sort of pink floral fabric. 
and adds in a little pocket and a heart shape on the front so we can put in the tooth there and then the money gets popped in there with a little sort of um star uh, motif type thingy on the front so that is her one my son's got a similar one only with a blue back and a blue heart shape but I think they're quite cute they enjoy getting them out um, and leaving them out for the tooth fairy and um, whenever that happens so yeah I thought I'd share that too and then in terms of what I'm wearing today, well, I wanted to be nice and cosy for church because the church is a very old building and it can get quite chilly in there, particularly when you're standing still. So I've got on a pair of ready to wear jeans and a cosy handmade sweatshirt. And this sweatshirt I made using one of my favourite sweatshirt patterns, which is this one here, the Jarrah sweatshirt pattern by Megan Nielsen. I really love this pattern. It's a really nice, relaxed, drop shoulder, easy sort of to wear sweatshirt. It's got a really good size range. Um, I've got the paper pattern, which goes from a US 0 to 20, but there's also a Megan Nielsen curve version of the Jarrah as well, which I think goes from a US 14 up to a 30. So a really good size range. And it's just one of those patterns that's got loads of different variations built in. So I think it's really, really versatile. I'm sure I've showed you before, but I'll show you again the pattern options. You can make sort of a classic sweatshirt here with cuffs, hemband, and just this classic sort of crew neck. You can make this version here that has these um, slit cuffs and a sort of curved drop down hem that's slightly longer at the back than the front. There's this cute version here, like the model on the front is wearing with a tie at the front. And then there's this really cosy version here with a sort of hem that you just turn up without adding a band on and this funnel neck. And you kind of mix and, mix and match all of the different options. So you can make loads of different sweatshirts out of all the different bits on this pattern, I think. In terms of sizing, I always go for the size zero, which is designed for a bust 32, waist 24 and hips 34. My waist and hips would put me at a size four, so a couple of sizes larger. But the jar is designed to be quite oversized, so I've always just gone with a size zero based on my bust measurement and always find that absolutely fine. There's still plenty of room in it, it's still a really relaxed fit. And the version I'm wearing today, I've sort of borrowed a few different bits from the different options. I've got the funnel neck here, I've got the cuffs, and I've gone for the um, dipped um, hem that's longer at the back than the front. I'll stand up a bit so you can see that feature. And I really love this version. I think it's my coziest Jarrah I've got. And I made it in this really lovely fabric. It's a quilted jersey fabric. You can probably see on the screen, it's got this lovely sort of diamond shaped quilting on it. So it's kind of two layers of cotton jersey fabric with some wadding in between, but it makes it nice and cozy. And I got this fabric quite a while ago from Higgs and Higgs. I had a look um, today before I popped on here and they do still have this fabric available in quite a range, wide range of colors. So I'll link them down below. Um, I think this might be the navy possibly um, there are a few different colors that are quite similar to this one so I couldn't figure out which one I bought I think it might be the navy but there are loads of really nice colors whenever I look on that website I'm always tempted to get more because I love this Jarrah and it's so cozy to wear and I lengthen the sleeves slightly so they're really long with the cuffs added on so it does make me feel really cozy um, this version I think I might have lengthened the body as well a bit because I do find the Jarrah does come up a little bit cropped so I've got a longer body and want to make sure it's nice and long to be cozy in this weather so I think I might have lengthened that by a couple of inches. And then when I did the hem, I used a twin needle on the hem because I find, particularly if you've got a curved hem, I find it gives like a really nice finish on the twin needle and it doesn't stretch out as much as it might if you're doing a zigzag. Um, so yeah, so twin needle the hem, but it's quite a simple sew really, particularly with this funnel neck because it's like a stand-up collie. You don't have to worry about getting the neck band to lie flat so it comes together really nicely and it is really cosy. So I'll put a picture up of me wearing it. Um, I like the navy blue colour. It just, yeah, feels nice and cosy for winter, this one. And one more thing I wanted to share while I was on is one of my knitted Christmas decorations that I don't think I've shared yet this Vlogmas. It's one I knitted during last year's Vlogmas. So I'd have shared it then. Um, so some of you may have seen it before, but I thought I'd share them again because I really love this one and I thought some of you might enjoy seeing it, especially if you didn't watch my last year's Vlogmas. And I'm kind of in a Christmas decorations kind of mood this afternoon because that's what we've got planned. Um, when my husband and daughter get home, my husband's going to go up in the loft and get down the outdoor Christmas lights and he's going to braid the cold and put those up. We don't have a lot of Christmas lights outdoors. We just have a little sort of string of lights around the porch and a little reindeer as well. But they're really cute and my children really enjoy seeing them, especially when, it, we're back, when we get back and it's dark and they're all lit up. It does make the house feel nice and Christmassy. So yeah, he'll be heading out into the cold to do that. My son and daughter and I are going to stay inside and we're going to put up some Christmassy window stickers. Um, we've got some snowflakes and other Christmassy things like Christmas trees and a Merry Christmas sign and things. So they always enjoy putting those up. So that should be fun. We'll get some Christmas music playing 
and doing that. So we're going to have quite a nice afternoon indoors. It's quite Christmassy. But yeah, I thought I'd share this um, knitted Christmas decoration we've had up that I really love. And they're a string of knitted fairy lights. And here they are. See, I knitted them last year and I've been really happy to get them out again this year. Um, so yeah, they're a great scrap buster pattern, this one, actually, because they really don't use a lot of yarn. So I used knitted these out of leftover yarn last year. I used sort of black for the main cable, which this is an eye cord, and these little um, tops of the lights. And then for the sort of bulbs, as it were, I've used these really cute glittery yarns. I originally used these yarns as part of my knitted nativity set that I did a couple of years ago. These are the yarns I used for the kings. I really enjoyed choosing some sort of quite grand yarns to make their lovely robes. So I've got a sort of glittery mustard colour and a blue and a purple and a red. And I thought they'd make really nice Christmas lights. And um, although they're obviously not proper Christmas lights, they're just filled with toy stuffing. Um, I thought the glitter would make them look a little bit like they're lit up. So yeah, I really enjoyed knitting them. They were quite fun and knitted up quite quickly and quite a nice project to do in front of the TV. Um, and I put them up now over the fireplace. Well, on the light, we have a mirror, sorry, above the fireplace, which is where I put them. They were, they were made, I think the ones I seen in the magazine, they're displayed on the actual fireplace. And I originally thought that we might display them on the fireplace. But we've got kind of a real wood fireplace. And my husband wasn't sure how we could secure them without maybe risking damaging the wood on the fireplace. So they look nice on the mirror above, I think. Um, anyway, but yeah, they came from this pattern book here, which is my favourite sort of Christmassy knitting pattern book. It is the King Cole Christmas Knits Book 3, and I've used a few patterns in this book. I've knitted some of the nativity characters from here. This book also contains the knitted sweater decorations that I showed you earlier in Vlogmas. Um, where are they? Here they are. So yeah, I've used that pattern as well. And I'll show you the fairy lights pattern. Here it is. Oh yeah, there are the fairy lights displayed on the fireplace. So the pattern has sort of gone for a rainbow colour of lights here. Um, but I thought it would look really nice in these yeah, sparkly colours. But it's a really nice pattern, it knits up really nicely. I'd really recommend this magazine if you like knitting. It's a lot of fun. Quite a lot of the patterns are knitted in double knit. I don't think all of them are. I think I saw there's a one for sort of chunky wool, but a lot of the patterns are in double knit, so it's great for using up scraps too. But yeah, I got these lights down so I should show you, and I'm going to pop them back up on the uh, mirror in a moment. And then in a moment, I'm going to go off and find my son. He's just having a read in the next room. And we might sort of start a game of some sort or wait for my husband and daughter to come home. Once they're home, my husband will have a bit of lunch and then he'll head out to do the outdoor lights. We'll get stuck into the decorations inside. And that is pretty much our plan for this afternoon. So quite a mellow afternoon at home, keeping in from the cold. So I will leave you now and I'll pop on a little bit later once we've done a bit of decorating and I'll try and get a couple of pictures of our window stickers up and that sort of thing. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. So it's getting towards dusk now here. We put up the window stickers. I hope you enjoyed seeing a few of those on the window. My husband's back in from the cold outside. The lights are up, so that's good. And um, I'm filming at the moment on the stairs because my children are having a good game downstairs where I usually film, so I didn't want to interrupt that. So I thought I'd yeah, pop to a quiet space, which happened to be the stairs. So I think our plans the rest of the day are, oh, they're gonna, well, they're having a lovely game at the moment. A bit later, we might put a Christmas film on. Um, we've already watched one of our favourites, which is the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. That's one I used to really enjoy when I was a child too. But we've got a couple of goodies still left to watch. Um, one of our favourites to watch the family is Arthur Christmas. We all really like that one. So maybe we'll watch that a little bit later or we might leave that till a bit nearer to Christmas. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to leave you now for today. Um, tomorrow is going to be Monday. So I've got more sewing content planned for tomorrow. I haven't really had a chance to sew over the weekend. I never really get much sewing in over the weekend. Um, but I've got some fabric drying actually in the airing cupboard that arrived late on Saturday. So I'm looking forward to sharing that and talking about my new project. So I'll finish off here and I'll see you again for tomorrow, day 12. So thank you very much for joining me for another day of Vlogmas and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for definitely a more sewing um, Vlogmas kind of day. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye!